Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all new fuel efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. Welcome back to the Davis Ford pregame show. We're here with Coach Sean Cannon. Coach, any night in our league's a big night, but a little extra fire this week with the rival Northeast coming to town. Just uh, before we talk any more about Northeast, let's talk a little bit about what happened last week to help get your guys ready for this week. Yeah, you know, uh, played, played, you know, pretty good in the first half, you know, and I knew Cajon would come out and battle us. And, and uh, you know, finally went in the locker room with a lead there and, and uh, was able to come out in the, in the third quarter, really make some big plays. I think we scored uh, two or three touchdowns there in the third quarter, kind of put the game away. But, you know, it's just another typical night in the league. You know, everybody's going to play you hard every week and you got to be ready to take advantage of opportunities they give you. And, and um, you know, I thought we did that and it was good to get a win. All right, well, coming off that win, like I said, you got Northeast coming to town, the rivalry. First thing I want to talk about is how do you get these freshmen ready to go? Because they might not know about the rivalry if they're not from close by. Yeah, you know, it's it's a different challenge, but, you know, we got a lot of a lot of local guys, and they know about Northeast Itawamba, and, you know, that's one thing we've uh, kind of talked to them this week about is just the importance of the game, not only for us and, you know, our football season, but, you know, for past players, past coaches, you know, community members, you know, it really means a lot. And and, and, and good thing is we got them at home tonight, and, you know, hopefully we'll have a good crowd come out and, and, and see a great football game. All right, let's get a little bit more into the X's and O's here. Talk a little bit about some of the challenges Northeast presents uh, for your offense and your defense. You know, really good defense. You know, they don't give up a lot of points, don't give up a lot of yards. Uh, you really talented D linemen, you know, and, and, and some really good linebackers. So we're going to have to be able to make some holes in the run game and hopefully open up our passing game. And, and uh, you know, that's one challenge they do present. Uh, offensively, you know, they've uh, – Kind of like last week a little bit, a lot of different formations, personnel groupings, tight ends, receivers, empty backfields, and, you know, their quarterbacks throwing it around the yard a pretty good bit. Got three tailbacks that are pretty much even and stat-wise, you know, that they play. And um, so, you know, anytime you roll in a lot of people offensively, it means you trust them to play, and that's one thing we've got to be ready to do is, is defend defend everybody they do put in the game. And then, you know, be important to win the kicking game. You know, we've done that over the last couple of years when we played them, and, and hopefully we can make some plays in our kicking game. Uh, that's going to give us an edge, uh, you know, uh, throughout the game. All right. Well, uh, talk about their defenses front and how they can impose challenges. What is some of the stuff that you've done or that Coach Cook and the guys have done offensively to get ready for that defense? Well, you know, uh, being able to, to, you know, last week we, we, we threw in Quay Tucker there and had a little Wildcat package, and it gives us another little dimension to the run game. And, you know, and our backs have been running well, you know, Hiram and, and, uh, and, and, and Dinkins have done a good job. You know, our old line really deserves the credit because they've really done a good job opening up some holes. And that was one thing we want to do during the start of the year is be able to run the ball better. And, and uh, being able to run always opens up your passing game. And, uh, you know, so we've got a few new wrinkles uh, that we'll see tonight, I, I, you know, in the backfield. And, and I hope it's going to give us a little bit of spark. Something they hadn't seen, you know, be prepared with. And hopefully we can get them in there and get them misaligned some and, and, uh, and be able to pop some big plays on them. Uh, but it's going to be going to be really important to protect the quarterback. You know they got you know really good uh, edge rushers and uh, probably one of the best edge edge rushers we've seen all year and will see all year. Um, and uh, so we got to be able to be able, be able to protect our quarterback and make our throws. And you know the weather don't really know what it's going to do. And uh, you know so so hopefully hopefully we'll, we'll be able to hold up there. But if it turns into a ground and pound game, I think that's one thing that plays in our favor as well. So we just got to be ready for you know anything they throw at us for sure. All right, well, we'll move into the keys of victory here, brought to you by the Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. Uh, so, Coach, I think you've already touched on all of them, but what are your keys to victory tonight? Well, you know, turnover battles are huge, especially when you when you don't really get uh, a lot of outside practice time this week. You know, been a lot of rain here, so we've had to go inside and, you know, and, and, and pretty much have a glorified walkthrough. So you really hadn't had as a lot of contact work as far as, you know, like you normally would during the week. So holding on the football is going to be important, being able to take the football away from them and uh, be able to capitalize. And that's really going to be a staple every week that you got to do in this league. Last week, I think we had uh, one turnover there really didn't hurt us, and we was able to get a couple on defense and get some fourth down stops. Anytime you're flipping you know, that part up and give your offense a chance to get some more possessions, that's always going to help you. And, uh, 
you know, got to eliminate the big play. Uh, you know, uh, last week, you know, Oklahoma had a really good receiver that they, they hit some big plays on us. And it was just him being a good football player. So that's one thing we got to do this week and make them earn what they get. And then, uh, you know, offensively, uh, got to be able to establish what we want to do. And uh, that's that's number one, run the ball and open up our uh, play action game there for, for Clark to be able to, to throw the ball down the field. And when they give us those one on one matchups, we got to win. You know, that's been our challenge all week to the receivers. You got to win your one on ones. And, and uh, that's what they got to do tonight for sure. All right, Coach, well, best of luck to you and the guys tonight against Northeast. And we'll be right back with more of the Davis Ford pregame show on ESPN Mississippi 95.1 The Fan and Let's Go ICCTV.com. <laughs> 